Hello, welcome back, Tangas of Blitz Universe. You're looking at the new Emperor at Tier 10, the WZ113, the Chinese Tier 10 Heavy, which has arrived in a bit 4.9 in World of Tanks Blitz. And we are going to take it for a three game spin, as per usual, in those uh, full bells and whistles reviews I do on the channel. Um, sets and numbers, armor profile, garage stuff, all in here as well. So, yeah, uh, I'd say buckle up <laughs> and enjoy the show. Um, some public service announcement first. Um, this is a Patreon sponsored post. I don't uh, tell a lot about it. Actually, people can sponsor me. You can sponsor me on Super Chat. You can sponsor me on YouTube. You can sponsor me on Patreon. Appreciate it if you do. Um, if you can't find the money to uh, support me, that's all well and good because I will still be pumping out uh, newness and gameplay regardless uh, if I be sponsored or not. But anyways, um, WZ103, um, I've driven it on Super Test earlier, I have driven it on the Open Test and they have changed the tank since, they have uh, buffed it, <laughs> they've buffed it in some pretty darn good ways to make it, yeah, OP, borderline OP. Or at least a very strong, a very strong tank at this uh, moment. It is really good, really, really good. Um, it's uh, it's Russianish in a way, obviously, because uh, most of the uh, Chinese tanks are knockoffs of Russian tanks. Um, it has a it has a good gun. It has good mobility, as you can see. And well, we'll, we'll get to the stats and numbers later. But I think the only thing really lacking on a tank at this moment, at its current state, is uh, the traverse numbers really, because it uh, does 50 kilometers per hour top speed. If you manage to pick up on that, it does 400 uh, per shot at a really good rate of fire, and it can uh, bounce uh, shots from time to time. And it has a fairly nice armor profile as well. It's not a, uh, I'd say, it, it's not a beta pay to win tank or play uh, to win tank it's not not a step better I think because it has a few uh, weak spots obviously and uh, things uh, to look out for and we'll get to that later as well there's a very big uh, weak spot at the front and I'm going to show you why that is even more troublesome uh, than it than it just being a weak spot because there's a big ammo right behind it <laughs> That's, you have to watch out for that um, but other than that, this is a pretty darn good tank. You can see from the rate of fire I'm doing here, I've, I've put a shot into that Opiogon 40, got myself into cover, and then decided to shoot him again. And I'm going to do, do just what Russian tanks do well, and a side scrape, and bounce a nice 640 sh shot from a T124. Who would think, oh, there's a new tank in town, I can just roll in and shoot him. But I shot him once, I bounce a shot, I shoot him again. And it's all done and dusted. We can put a shell into the front of this E100 over there as well. And then we are slowly progressing into that I7 who is now charging forward. Where is he? Hello, there you are. I'm turning. Oh, you're tracked. Right, I'm going to retrack you. There we go. Straight through the drive wheel. And thank you very much for that new light tank skill added in update 4.8. Um, what is it after? Three shots or something like that, you have a 35% chance of doing maximum damage and I did as you can see so yeah pretty pretty darn good tank and the rate of fire on it is it's phenomenal for a, a Russian uh, tank read because uh, for all instances and purposes this is a Russian tank you will struggle frontally against new 100 and he's just sitting there um, and I should have switched uh, to heat quicker. I was hoping for him to bounce a shot on my front plate. But look at the clock, 9.30 with two bases captured. I'm popping adrenaline and there we go. Another heat shell in. There we go, one more. And can we put another one in? Yes, with a rammer and full provisions and full crew and the whole full bells and whistles and adrenaline. Just look at what I'm doing to this poor E100. Three straight shots in. If I had switched earlier to um, to heat, I think I might have taken him down, really. But hey ho, here's the first mastery. Still a low bar, 12.28. Not really worth uh, in terms of uh, XP for a mastery at tier 10. But yeah, it's a new tank. A not a lot of players have driven it. Uh, 67 or something like that in total now in the last 90 days. So there's really not a lot. And damage-wise, 
not really a tier 10 ace uh, worthy, worthy of a tier 10 ace, but we killed two um, tier 10 tanks, that's 80 supremacy points, so yeah, that, that helps a bit. Anyways, onwards onto the armor prof of the WZ113. You can see from uh, the bottom right, it still has minus four on uh, armor inspector. And if you look at it first, that armor profile doesn't look that spectacular. The front is 120. It says in the game that the sides have 120 as well, but it's mostly 90 millimeters with some wide tracks. Front of the turret is 240, and the biggest parts, it's probably the really pointy cheeks um, near the gun mantlet, are 260. Uh, front plate is not brilliant. This one, the lower plate, is 100, and that is a glaring weak spot for which you have to watch out. Because um, those big yellow boxes on the turret side and on the left and right side of the hull are ammo racks. Yes, you have a big, very big fat ammo rack sitting next to your driver. Which means that if you are showing off like this and you are showing your lower plate, a leopard can pen you over there. He will bounce on the front, as you can see on the front plate, that is only 120 millimeters, but it's sloped. Uh, at such an angle that it becomes an auto bound zone, but he will ping you uh, straight over there through the front, no problem whatsoever. Um, you will not be able to hide that plate really effectively on open ground. You have to go hold down in the stank, um, and that's something that is even more doable and easier doable than uh, as shown on these stats from. Uh, armor inspector because it has minus four here still um, if a leopard switches to heat you will be vulnerable on the lower glasses plate obviously um, there's a very small weak spot on top of the tracks but yeah he will probably bounce or, or you will catch it on tracks if you wiggle around you have your weak spots on the left and the right side of the gun and on the turret top as well but if you wiggle around a bit and don't sit still too long you are a very hard target to pen indeed but if you do face hug a tank like this, like I did on the early match on Mayan Ruins against the M103, that very OP thickness front plate really is gone going to waste because people, most of the tanks can shoot down on you. You are a very, very low profile heavy tank. You have a bit like a medium uh, tank's profile. The IS-4 is, is a higher one. Um, it's a bit like the IS-8 actually. Really good frontal armor on flat ground at a slight distance, but not a tank to face hug because people can just shoot down on that front plate of yours and they will pen you regardless. That's, that's easily, easily done. And yeah, weak spots on the left and the right side of the gun, even uh, especially w uh, with the Jaeger and obviously that uh, front plate, that lower glasses plate. But looking at stats and numbers, you can see um, Blitz Stars has been updated. It has minus six degrees of gun depression now. The WC113, and where it earlier had the same base DPM as the T125, it now has the same base DPM as the FV215B, near 3K base DPM. Um, but you do have 400 alpha per shot, um, so that's pretty good. And in terms of gun handling, it isn't. It's not a really bad gun actually. Aim time. Well, pretty good. Uh, dispersion is pretty good. It's not as effective as that laser gun of the 215B. Um, but your penetration isn't yeah, really bad either. Even on the heat, you lose uh, 5 mils of pen uh, compared to some of the other heat guns. Um, but yeah, that's, that's all within negligible differences, really. So, I think you're looking at, at the moment, the pretty much the best tier 10 heavy there is. If you fit a rammer and if you would use uh, the provisions, then your uh, DPM goes up even bigger as you can see here. Just look at that. It's, it's ludicrous. It's ridiculous. And like I said, the only really thing um, the other heavies have going for uh, for it again uh, compared to the WC113 is um, the Traverse. But as for the rest, yeah. It, it has it has a fairly good power to weight ratio. It, it hasn't got a really big engine, so it's a bit slow on the pickup. But you do 50 kilometers in a straight line. Your traverse is a bit lacking, so don't try to do a circle of death in it. But other than that, pretty good tank. Um, 
Enough of that rambling, <laughs> enough of the theory. Uh, let's get back into the gameplay, but uh, first I'll sh I'm showing you uh, the consumables, the provisions. Um, pretty standard for what I do on tier 10 tanks and heavies as well. You can see I'm using 7 uh, HE, 9 heat, and the rest of it is uh, APCR. Rammer fitted here. We have the, <coughs> uh, because yeah, yeah, you add uh, half a round more, yeah, uh, Rammer. Improved modules, improved optics, no need for camouflage on a heavy gun laying drive, bringing the aim time down to 3.5%, coupled with vertical stabilizers, improved assembly and improved control. A lot of improvements over there. Vertical stabilizers, like I said, couple that with a uh, enhanced gun laying drive, and you have 3.5 second aim time for 400 alpha shots, and then the repair box and consumable, uh, consumable delivery system. So, yeah, a tank to really drop the hammer and that's exactly what we're going to do on Himmelsdorf over here and on Desert Sands. Uh, normally I don't come charging around this corner but look at it, 45, 47, here we are hitting top speed, boom, straight into the decap together with the AMX 50B. Because that means we have now, between the two of us, if I, I, I can do uh, probably two shots uh, in his clip, that means 2000 damage uh, base. We are that's track that's annoying uh, a bit for a bit but we can probably wear down this uh, is4 pretty effectively this one goes through its side bit lucky bit lucky i know but yeah he's tracked now in place i bounce a shot like said go hold down i can put another shot into his lower plate thank you very much and uh, it's all uh i would say it's easy i'm going to take a shot here happy to do that you can see it's probably on my lower glasses plate but hey he's down is4 is down we've captured uh, the decap thank you very much now it's just a matter of uh, rolling around over here, turning around, I can safely side scrape out, waiting for that ISF to fire, and he does, thank you very much, hello PTA, what do you do when shooting HE, I think, maybe, or missing tanks, it's uh, something uh, they do from time to time as well, rest are capturing B, and, but as long as they, they don't push, and I have two tank destroyers behind me, I can see them on the minimap, happy to go there, Blocking a shot from the ISF and killing the object one uh, 40, <laughs> object, object 74, nab. And here's what I meant with phase over. You can see he shoots straight through my lower plate, uh, or through my frontal glasses plate. Um, but I'm happy to take the shots. I have the hit point left. Um, didn't go through on this one because he does phase over. And I don't have just quite a good impression to go through his uh, driver's hatch. But he's uh, down and out. Thank you very much. Shot into the Amex 50B just misses. That's annoying. Chinese accuracy for the win. But yeah, we have an IS-7 over here. There's still an Amex 50B who is now reloading. Reds are capturing uh, B. Um, but we're getting C. We have a tank's advantage. And here we go again. I am nicely held down and side scraping off the back of the IS-7. No need for me to go into a position where I am vulnerable. So we can put a shot through the machine port of that Yacht Tiger. No problem whatsoever. And by the looks of it, he is going AFK. He's losing connection, whatever. Uh, nice way uh, of doing stuff, really. What a moment to lose your connection. But it happens. has happened to me before. Ness Horn game. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Yeah, that was annoying really. This uh, shot uh, hits, but the, AMX, uh, the pattern was already down. So I decided to go uh, gung ho and YOLO in straight on his E50M. I shoot him, but he shoots me as well through the drive wheel. There we go. What well, we are going to. I don't know. Was I going to bounce this one? Yeah. Well, there we are. Thank you very much. We jiggle back and forth. We shoot him, track him. He repairs, but he gets whacked by the Igaru. Giving us a nice one. 1072 assistance damage. We had captured the D cap earlier on, so that means another mastery in the WZ113. 1374, a bit more in terms of uh, XP, so that's more like it. Uh, and indeed, for near 1400 uh, assistance damage, a bit on the i7, and uh, most of it was on the E50M. Thank you very much for showing up. Uh, it's not a credit earner, obviously, uh, being a tier 10 tank. I've actually lost credits on this one, uh, and it's because of all the consumables and stuff in there. Um, and I think they might change that. I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, last game for today. Again, dropping the hammer on Desert Sands. 
Again, supremacy. I've had a lot, mostly supremacy games actually. I th uh, have it turned on? I don't know. <laughs> Check the settings, really. Right, but um, supremacy. Slowly side scraping out. I'm going, going to make a monumental mistake on this match as well uh, because I uh, I'm not the best player in the world. I actually suck from time to time. We can put a nice shot. There we go. Track shot into the object 263. He's rushing away. So I'm thinking, okay, he's probably l alone over here. Um, no, he wasn't. Screw my life. He wasn't alone. But hey ho, um, this is what happens if you uh, don't pay attention or if you are thinking, oh, okay, I can just move in now because he's alone. He wasn't. There's a big bad Jaeger who whacks me for, uh, was it uh, 1000? No, I was uh, 800, near 800. Big shell, big shell, big shell. But the ISA is taken out. We have managed to put two shots already into tanks. I was quickly checking which way the Jaeger was looking. He was not looking my way, so let's uh, go in and shoot him in the butt. We have a company of a grill. Thank you very much. I'm blocking the Jaeger now, as you can see. So he is down. Can we save our E5? Uh, I actually shoot his gun. Sorry, buddy. I shot your gun. I didn't shoot the Opic 140. That's annoying. So I'll just roll in now. There we go. Shoot him. But on Opic 140, I can. Uh, I can actually face out him because you can see he's not looking at my front plate at the moment. He is looking at my cupola. He wants to shoot that. So here we go. Nice. <laughs> Ammo ray following. Thank you very much. And what we're going to do now is not chase that grill. But looking at the WZ113, shoot him. One, thank you very much. The pattern is shooting again. And this is a position where I can be really successful because I can go hold on be behind other tanks. I'm tracking my uh, I'm tracking red tanks like a mother buzzer. And I'm now using the carcass of that IS, uh, tracking the grill 15 in place, using the carcass of the IS to go hold down to bounce shots. Hello, E50, can I shoot you? Yes, we're going to shoot you. Don't really track you, that's annoying. And I should have stayed on APCR, I was trying to be clever. Uh, but I should have stayed on APCR because I would have killed that grill earlier. Uh, bounce a shot from the E50, we kill the grill now. Bounce another shot because I was held down behind that tank again. Thank you very much. Popping adrenaline still, turning on the spot, side scraping off a dead tank. And this is where the WC113 can excel because um, tanks are near me at the moment. I can just uh, side scrape out, I can. Uh, be successful, really going to bounce no, uh, grill misses, not bounce a shot. But what I can do is just sit here, uh, let the armor work, uh, use dead tanks, use cover, bounce shots, and that means we get uh, yet another mastery in the WC113. Three masteries in one video 1600 base XP, 4814 damage. And a lot of that base XP is down to 500 victory points on Supremacy. But hey ho, an ace is an ace and three ace games in one video is pretty darn nice if I say so myself. So thank you very much uh, for watching. Um, stay tuned for the channel, uh, to the channel for SCB1 videos, T1 Tiny 3 videos and general noobness included as well. As for now, cheers ladies and gentlemen, happy tanking and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye bye.